Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well, viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, Roddy! I'm Marty. Welcome back to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney, everybody. So... We had a long oh. trial period last time. We did, and you know what I just realized? The little, like, circle with the X on it kind of looks like the new Smash Balls that are sideways. Um, sure. What is it supposed to be? Uh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I honestly don't know. It's okay. just a new logo. Well, Anyhow, let's go. we're still on Turnabout Serenade, now we're on the day oh, two we're investigation. investigating. Yeah, the trial uh, lasted for yeah. ages. July 9th to 12 p.m., write anything agency. Hey, hey, Apollo! What? Uh, well, you know, uh, actually nothing. I mean, something. Or maybe not. Out with it! The suspense is giving me an ulcer! Well, you know, the, the trial today, I was thinking... If you gave it a score, what score would you give it? Score? Um, gee. I guess I would... Um, or maybe... Well... Bah! I'm just as bad as you! See? It's so... So vague. Clearly. Machi avoided a guilty verdict, which is something. Though I can't say I'm any less confused about the case. <laughs> Ask Interpol about that number. I'm sure you'll find their answer intriguing. I'm more intrigued by the fact that you are a shark. Wait, does he also have the most gigantic zipper in history? Or is that a necklace? Uh, or is that the chain the hanging off? You know, yeah, see how there's like the little thing hanging right there? Is that the zipper? I think it's thing? a zipper. <laughs> Is it a, like Kingdom Hearts with the style. most gigantic zippers? No, it's not as big as that. Okay. <laughs> IPXX314206. The agent registered under this number was Romaine Lit. <laughs> <laughs> and the victim, Mr. Lit! <laughs> Who would have guessed he was actually an undercover Interpol agent? What a mess. And we don't have any idea what he was investigating. Well, true, but we know who shot him now. Lemewa told us the whole court. Or told the whole court. Wait. That voice just now, it was him. I'm sure of it. That voice I heard talking to Mr. Latus. I don't know how to sneeze with Mr. Latus. Mame would She would actually say his name. She's more respectful Or she, would be, respectful or she would be the one who'd be like, Achoo. Mr. Latus. Like she would, Latus. When I heard the gunshots fired, it was him. It was Mr. Darian. It's another mystery, Apollo. I love mysteries. I don't. Speaking of mysteries, what's Mr. Wright up to? I wouldn't mind asking his opinion. Now that you mention it, I haven't seen Daddy around. What? Is he some kind of stray that just wanders in and out at will? I wouldn't say that, but he's been going out a lot. Some top secret mission, he said. That would be cool if he's actually, like, trying to still be a defense attorney or something, like, <laughs> out of the law's hands. <laughs> like, going around. That'd be kind of kind of Top funny. secret? Anyway, you can't just rely on him to save the day. And you've got me to help you. We'll be fine. Fine. Right. Well, time's a wasting, as they say. Let's investigate. That's the spirit. Yeah, I kind of hate Trucy. <laughs> Darian. You don't like Trucy. I don't really like her. I like her expression there. She's she's just, she's, she's, she's very not stereotypical my... for Phoenix Wright games. Oh. Oh. That Phoenix Wright has one type of assistant, the cheerful girl hey! assistant, who has the tragic backstory. I'm... Uh, well, we don't know if she's tragic or not. Ah, uh, that's true. <laughs> Lamewa dropped a bomb in court today. It was Darian. Lamewa said she's never forgotten a voice, right? That's so cool! Um, I guess. What's that called again? Um, elephant ears? I bet that's what they're called. I mean, Trucy's tragic backstory is her mom's not in the picture. Well, but that's not okay. That that sounds that sounds terrible to say. That's pretty common. I feel like nowadays. Oh yeah. There's lots of people who have split families. Oh yeah. Or for whatever reason, not two parents. I have a couple of friends who don't have two parents. So. It's true. It, it happens. <laughs> Somehow, I don't think that means what you think it means. And she has to be wrong this time. Wrong? Why? I mean, look, those gunshots were right during the concert. That's right. I was burning up the dance floor at the time. Right. Did you happen to look up on stage? Maybe at Darian, even? You bet I did. He's one of the Gavineer's guitarists, after all. He's so cool. Oh. Right. 
all the Gaviniers have a rock solid alibi. He couldn't have shot Mr. Le <laughs> backstage. But Lembawa heard him, didn't she? She heard Darian backstage, right? Somebody's either wrong or lying very badly here. What could happen is maybe they had <laughs> this would be ridiculous. If they had a recording in the room. <laughs> or if she heard his voice, is he a guitarist and a vocalist? Uh, I don't think he's a vocalist. You don't think he's a vocalist? Otherwise, there was that music blaring in there. Yeah. And if he was a vocalist, he's like, Oh, yeah! He's <laughs> a guitar on fire! She's like, it's him! <laughs> it's like, uh, <laughs> he's just singing the song. An Interpol agent. Hmm. I was wondering, what is Interpol anyway? Huh? Interpol? They're the guys who catch international criminals. Why can't they just call them international police instead of making up some silly name? Yeah. Anyway, you think he was investigating Lamawa? What? Why would anyone do that? She's not a criminal. She couldn't be. Don't be fooled by appearances is all I'm saying. But remember, I'm a magician, Apollo. I can spot a palmed coin at 50 paces. If only it were that easy. In any case, we know that he was working on something. I wonder if it was something that had something to do with something. That's something being our case. The last something, I mean. Something like that. Frankly, the whole thing is making my head hurt. What was Mr. The Tooth up to? Uh. <laughs> um, Trucy, was that another one of your tricks? It wasn't me! I can't even make Mr. Hat laugh like that! Oh, it's Colonel Mustard! <laughs> Wherever the mundane gives way to miracles, a word is whispered. Grammary. Okay, this dude literally <laughs> is like, um, what is it? The Baron from Whisper of the Hearts? <laughs> Come, we must okay, ride so on we, the updraft! So, he is Colonel Mustard, the Baron, Tuxedo Mask, and Sir Topham Hat all in one. Or the man and with Mr. the yellow hat. And Mr. Banks, and the man. He's six <laughs> people all in one. Hey, the other day! Yeah! H who's there? I also love this guy's music. We... We didn't just imagine that, did we? He was wearing a silk hat. Friend of yours? Hardly! <laughs> we meet again. Ah, uh, um, nice to meet you. Who are you? And could you please stop smirking like that? Ah, uh, ah, uh, it's you! Uncle Valent! Uncle Valent? He's your uncle? No, silly. It's the great Grammarly. Valent Grammarly. <laughs> there, there's no L. We are not advertising for Grammarly. Grammarly! I'm trying to say Grammarly. It's Grammarly. Grammarly. The Great Magician! Yes, it is I, the Great Valent Grammarly, as seen on television. And could you please stop smirking like that? It's been a while, Miss Trucy. Seven years, to be exact. My, how you've grown. Good to see you again, Uncle Valent. You look exactly the same. Um, I hate to intrude, but... What is a great magician doing to paying us a visit? I believe it was you who wished to see me. So be quick with your questions. And do not quail, quake, or quiver. I am quite tame. Though my stardom may see to sear the sight, I am quite down to earth when need calls. He does have a certain aura to him, it's true. Let's ask him about the case, Apollo. His aura sure isn't lost on our magician in the making. She's practically drooling with enthusiasm. After all, Uncle Valen's one of Daddy's best friends. That's why I call him Uncle. Wh what Daddy? You mean Mr. Wright? No, I mean my real Daddy. Trucy's real father? That's what we is should he, really is ask he Darth about. Vader? Ask about the. Aww. Wait, Apollo. Don't tell me you don't know about Troop Grammarie. Grammarie, yeah. Troop Grammarie, huh? No, but it does sound kind of familiar. Oh, lost life! Lamentably miss this lad! <laughs> Is that his hair, by the way? Yeah, that's his hair. Oh, okay. <laughs> to not know of the greatest troop of magicians on the planet! Valent Grammary, the name began to surface in my mind. It was a name I had heard on television as a child. You bet you've heard the name! He made a cruise ship disappear and blew up an amusement park! Oh, and he made all of the gold disappear from a safe. And then he escaped from a high-security prison! Um... You said he's a magician? <laughs> I open the locks to hearts chained by mediocrity. This is the true miracle of troop grammarie. Wait. What, Paula? I 
do remember seeing you on television a long time ago. Weren't you with someone else? Like a duo? A duo? Yeah, you had a partner. Something Grammary. Yes, Zack. Zack Grammary. A masterful maker of magic, a capable crafter of shining showmanship. Well, that's probably her dad. Why is everyone so quiet? Daddy. Daddy? Huh? Oh, no way! No way! Once upon a time, the troop grammary included two grand magicians. Myself, Valent Grammary, and my partner, Zack Grammary. And this Zack was... He was my real daddy. Tracy's father, a magician. I guess it makes sense. I had no idea. There weren't much... There wasn't much point in talking about it. Not now that he's gone. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm not lonely. I've got my daddy, after all. And you make me laugh, Apollo. Glad that I'm good for comic relief, at least. <laughs> not that I see daddy around much these days. Ah, I've been remiss in remembering my reasons for my visit. Reasons? Two, in fact. The first being, of course, to see you, Miss Trucy. You don't know how happy I am to see you again, Uncle Valet. I'm sure you are. Not one for modesty, are you? When I encountered you at the Coliseum, the first time in seven years, I could fain contain my emotions. I wept oceans. And to learn you now defend that poor pianist, that blinded boy. T'was a hot topic of talk among the staff, you know. And to defend him, and defend him you did. <laughs> well, it wasn't all my doing. Um, I'm his defense attorney, actually. <laughs> my other reason for coming here today was this. That's a videotape? Quite so, a recording of the concert, no less. I've brought it here for you, Trucy, on behalf of Troop Grammary. Will you watch it? It's probably really long. Sugar, butter, sugar, butter. Uh, well, is this the same cutscene that we saw at the beginning? Yeah. Or is it better? It's the same. Oh, it's the same. Okay. I couldn't remember. Oh, I forgot his hair. His hair is like a cinnamon roll. Yeah. <laughs> also, there's nobody on the, uh, on the drums. There's no drums in the song. Also, Why? there's nobody on bass. Yeah, but this was the second act. Yeah. Okay. But a fleeting melody. Watch the guitar. Did you see yeah, it? I saw it's it spark. You saw it ignite, and now it's starting to smoke a little bit. <laughs> so what's your opinion on this animation? It's pretty good. If I was watching this on my DS, I'd be like, Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look <laughs> at the best part. <laughs> this is the- I'm so glad we get to see this again. <laughs> oh, you'll get to see it a lot more. <laughs> and then they pan over. <laughs> like, well, maybe Nothing we to should, see here, folks. Maybe we shouldn't have that on camera. Why or how that works, by the way. Also, that song is very short. If you that was the whole second act, just that song. And it's like, all right, guys, we're gonna take a break because Gavin has to put out his flaming guitar. That's probably why. <laughs> wow, it's almost as good as it was live. So, what's the word? Mysterious. There are more mysterious things here than her song going on. Way more mysterious. <laughs> this Valent Grammary has good reasons to be here, but I wonder what his reasons were to be at the concert. Cool, well, we'll probably enter that as evidence later. Check it out, I have an attorney. <laughs> What's this? You would ask me for a miracle? Free of a fee? Then thy wish be granted, thy will be done, thy evidence evicted into the ether. Ah! No evicting, please! <laughs> Are all magicians like this, I wonder? <laughs> I have no idea. I'm, I'm not friends with any. <laughs> I think he says that for pretty much everything, though. <laughs> so, I was wondering, that stunt in the middle of the psalm there? I didn't see a stunt. What about Lamawa vanishing and reappearing? <laughs> oh, that. I guess I'm so used to seeing it happen, I didn't even notice. So young to be so jaded. 
a simple sleight of hand, a petite prestig prestidigitation. <laughs> a modicum of magic from me to you. So that's why you were at the concert. Yes. I was there to watch my trick take to the air. So you're the one who knows how it all was all done. Of course! I am like a deity with the stage as my domain. I suffer no mystery upon these flood floodlit <laughs> boards not grasped tightly betwixt <gasps> wow! the Sorry, I was looking at my phone because I just got texted twice from our dad. Wait. Oh, okay. Sorry. Is it good? It's it's fine. Dad is going to Costco and he wanted to know if we had anything. I feel like we talk about Costco so much. Hey, I am a huge supporter of Costco. They have Costco great products, great. pretty good price, like considering how much you get. It's huge, and they treat their workers right. They do treat their workers pretty well. Buy a Costco card today, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it is a potent primeval power I possess, my Costco card. <laughs> um, well, do you think you could tell me how it was done? Hey now! Trucy? That's like totally against the rules, Apollo. Not during a murder investigation, it's not! <laughs> May none, for my illusions are mine alone, monsieur. Also, also what? Recall that the terrible occurrence happened later. Well after my illusion entranced the audience. Oh. Don't even ask, I won't answer. Too bad for you, Apollo. Uh, whose side are you on? I, Valent Grammary, now make my leave, Miss Trucy. There's no need to rush, Uncle Valent. You should stay a while. I am afraid I cannot. I may not. I shall not. I have been asked to assist with an analysis, and so I shall slink back to the scene. So, you'll be at the concert venue today? Correct. If you would call on me, come to the Coliseum. See you later, Crocodile. With a whirl of his cloak and a wink of his eye, he turned and walked out through the door. Normally. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go, Apollo. Let's get cracking. Right. Valent Grammary. I've got a few more things to ask him. Foremost among them, what bit of magic that made Lamawa disappear. And how he knows Trucy and her real father. Let's go to... Oh. I thought we could go see Mr. Wright! Okay, and where? We'll He's see. not still in the hospital. Is he not? Oh, That I happened think... last month. He only sprained his ankle. Well, I don't know how long it takes for ankles to be back to normal. I've only you, ever... Okay, you don't spend a whole month in the <laughs> hospital. I guess that would make you sense. Sprain your ankle. I've only broken my leg, so... Th that's all. Yeah. I have had no serious injuries. Oh, and I've also dislocated my shoulder. Yeah. That was fun. July 9th, detention center visitor's room. Machi may not be guilty, but he's still a suspect. But they don't have any decisive evidence. Yeah, but only someone as small as him could have gotten out of that room. Right. The air vent. And he lied. Lied? Machi Tobaye can see. Uh, Machi! Speak of the devil. He looks like he's doing okay. I forget. Why did we come here? It's not like we can talk to him or anything. Words are overrated. Feelings are what matter, Apollo. It's kind of hard to build a court case on feelings. But since we're here anyway, might as well get what I want to say off my chest. If you need something, to, someone to complain to, I'll listen. I think she's actually worried for me. <laughs> I love the flash across his glasses. Me too. That security camera is looking at me. Why do I feel this sudden urge to make a silly face? Oh, that happens whenever I walk into, like, stores. <laughs> a security guard. He stands here watching this room. His eyes when he looks at Machi are gentle. Maybe he has a kid the same age. He really looks like young Elton John, though. Elton John was blonde? I more meant the glasses. Oh, I was like, <laughs> when was he blonde? He looks more like, uh... Oh, I know what he looks like. Take off the sunglasses. He looks like every single child in Howl's Moving Castle that's in, like, Madame Solvin's castle. Do you remember <laughs> <Yeah>. that? <laughs> Where it's like, oh, thank you for, like... The servants. Yeah, the servants. <laughs> so, what did you think of the trial today? <laughs> I'm glad he doesn't understand English after all. 
If he did, he would have been scared out of his mind by the trial. Hey! All's well that ends well. You have to be more goal-oriented. If he's not guilty, we win. No, if he's innocent, we'll win. Machi might not understand English, but I bet he gets that better than you do. Huh? Okay. I'm glad Lamewa testified. What a great person. She even got Machi off the hook by naming another suspect. Darian of the Gavineers, the detective. I wonder if Machi knows what happened. I mean, if he could follow how the trial went at all. If no one told him there's a new suspect, how would he know? Hey. What is it, Apollo? No, it's nothing. Hang on a second. We have to know, how old is Valent Grammar? 44. I mean, yeah, okay. Darian's 24. How is that guy only a year older than me? It's He's a shark. Three, uh, I'm precisely on schedule. <laughs> a schedule. Schedule. <laughs> yeah, it's schedule, because he sounds, pronounces it weird. I must be imagining it. Imagining what, Apollo? It's just, I couldn't help but feel that, I don't know, Machi, he doesn't understand what we're saying, right? How could he? He's a young Borginian, he doesn't speak English. Yeah, but my bracelet is reacting to him. Huh? Maybe it's malfunctioning. Maybe it's reacting to the guard. Or it's scared because you keep making those I'm so mad faces. Was I that bad? Machi lied about not being able to see. But what if that's not all he lied about? If you're curious about it, there's only one thing to do. You should ask him. I think it'll take something big to get him. <laughs> get to him. Some kind of undeniable evidence. We'll be back, Machi. I would have just, like, shoved the lyrics in his face and been like, Yo, bro. Creed. <laughs> there's <laughs> a pane of say? glass between us. Oh, but I thought there was, like, the talking hole. You know how when you're in yeah, jail? Yeah, that's true. Okay. So, Machi, you can see, right? Machi can see, and let me walk hand. The whole world's gone topsy-turvy! Topsy-turvy! Everybody's acting crazy! Topsy-turvy! Sorry, Apollo, I don't think we're gonna get any information out of Machi. Which makes sense. Yeah, I guess it does. He's got a good poker face, though. I so he has a tornado true. necklace, which is cool. Yeah, I think it's awesome. Oh, I just realized she has, like, a little bag. Yep. July 9th, Sunshine Coliseum. This, what? This is the venue. This is where the concert is. Oh! We just never actually saw it first day of investigation because we were locked in there. Right. There's a blimp? Woo! What a great day! It's perfect weather for sleuthing! The weather matters for an investigation? Don't some days just feel like magic days or defense days? Um, sure. Let's get started, shall we? Right on! Show us your stuff, Apollo! Um, what stuff? Your voice training! This is the perfect place for it! I did enough at home, thanks. Aw, there's no need to be shy. Keep that up and you'll never make it on the big stage. I'm happy in the courtroom, thank you. I am a lawyer. Then you're in luck because it's lawyer weather today! Don't you want to face the blue sky and shout objection? Look, the weather has nothing to do with lawyers. Let's get going already! I kind of understand that, though. Like, today. Today was, like, the most productive day I've had in weeks. What's that? Creature there? Ooh, that's the police mascot, the Blue Badger. Eh? It's life-size! Haven't you seen them around town, patrolling the streets? Yes, now even Law & Order has a mascot. I'd run from that fiend even if I wasn't a criminal. Why does its head wobble like that when it walks? It's freaky! I don't think you're showing the true Blue Badger spirit, Apollo. Is that so? Look, a massive sign for the guilty as charged tour. <laughs> a giant prosecutor Gavin stares out over the arena. Now I really wish that this was a thing. <laughs> I would totally listen to their band. It'd be funny. Ooh, maybe I can take it to the office when they're done with it. Um, where would you put it? You couldn't even get that thing for the front door. Then I'll put it outside. I bet it'd be good for business. Just as long as no one comes expecting us to prosecute. Well, if anyone comes looking for a concert, leave it to me. Is this part of some twisted plan of hers to make her scening debut, I wonder? <laughs> it's not a bad idea. Look, a blimp! Those balloons next to it have ad banners on them. Let's see. Big sale, all shirts 50% off. Oh, it's an ad for the department store next door. That's weird that it's up there. 
No clues here. Um, I thought I saw the exam. It's fine. Sunshine Coliseum sure is living up to its name today. It's huge! And Mr. Gavin got to play on the enormous stage. I'm so jealous. Someday I'll fight my first battle on the stage. Wait, is it, was the stage outdoors? That's what I was wondering. Was it an outdoor venue? Oh, I never even thought about that before. I thought it was all inside. No, but I thought... the stage is out there. Wait. No, I that can't was... be. No, that can't be. It's inside. Maybe they have... It's That's inside. why I was like, why is it the Coliseum? The... Because we investigated during the daytime yesterday, and the stage was still really dark. It was inside. But stages are always kind of... Well, not if it's, not if it's out sore. Not if it's outside. What I thought it was, was I thought that there was that, like, shade thing over the stage. Oh. Think, like, Beauty and the Beast live on stage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. That. That exists. I said that. Did you? Yep. Battle? Well, yeah, it's a coliseum, isn't it? Um, they don't do gladiatorial contests at these places anymore, Trucy. Really? I had no idea! I wonder why they stopped. Sometimes I worry about her. Oh, I can't examine any of the people? No, there's no way. Go inside. Backstage hallway. July 9th, backstage hallway. Uh, Mr. Attorney. Lemawag! I'm sorry about today. I... There's nothing you need to apologize for. You are merely defending Machi. Um, are you okay? Alone, I mean. Humans are blessed with five senses. Even robbed of one, we get by. She's like licking everything. <laughs> <laughs> More like touching everything. Yeah. Though it does make being a witness rather difficult. Speaking of seeing, you knew who we were before we spotted you just now. And we weren't even talking. I heard your footsteps several times the day before. Oh! You must have great ears! Ears that heard the crime taking place. Or so she claimed yesterday. But how? Maybe she's like Toph. And she feels the vibrations in the floor. Rawr! Rawr! <laughs> no. The voice. That was quite a statement you made in today in court. About hearing Darian Crescent's voice at the scene of the crime. I did not know his name. But... I never forget a voice. Wait! L Lemawa, is something the matter? That voice just now. It was him. I'm sure of it. No way. I, I want to have the idea of like Lemawa comes up to the stand and then he like shoves her like, No way! Like, <laughs> no they keep, way! Because <laughs> they keep like having to switch on the stand. Yeah. As I said in court, I was on my way backstage from the stage. That is when I heard this voice. I'm guessing Darian and Mr. Le- <laughs> Well, we're talking about something? The next moment I heard those gunshots. Why didn't you call security? To be honest, though the noise was quite frightening, I never imagined the gunshots might be real. And I was in quite a hurry myself. I left the scene at once. So, it really was Darian's voice that she heard? Yeah. At least she certainly thinks it was. I met Machi before my debut as Mamehua. I was singing in a restaurant in Borginia. And he was playing the piano? Yes. He was very kind to me when he learned I could not sing. So is that when you started playing opposites? With Machi pretending he couldn't see? Uh, no, it wasn't then. That began after our major debut. After I became known as the landscape painter of sound. It must have been tough for Machi. Pretending he couldn't see and all while acting in your, as your eyes. I feel like that would be easy and kind of, like, really advantageous. Oh, for the poor! <laughs> <laughs> well, like, just... Okay, like, so, like, for example, imagine if everyone thought you were deaf, but you weren't, and they, like, said all of this, like, random stuff around you because they didn't think you could hear and you actually could. But that's really... Well... That's... Yeah. Some of it, though, is... It's hard to keep that up if you know you can and you want to speak up for example yep. if you're like oh i heard that and they're like that's pretty weird you're that's not supposed to be able yeah. to hear it um same thing with pretending to have eyes or pretending to have eyes pretending to have eyes no we held hands always he would write with his finger on my palm to signal to me things i should know oh isn't that um how helen keller learned 
that? I remember I she had somebody come in and she would spell things with her hand. Oh, is that how that... I think that's how it worked. I always wondered how she got by. Because she could speak, but because she couldn't hear herself as a child, she lost the ability to speak. And then she couldn't see. Mm -hmm. So I think when she had somebody come in, I think she would spell things out on her hand. Oh, okay. I'm not positive. <laughs> it's like Colette uh, in Void in Tales of Symphonia. <laughs> I, I mean, I would say yes, except I've never played. He's a smart, gentle boy. I think I see what she's getting at. Machi would never harm a soul. About Mr. Uh, yes. He was an Interpol agent, I hear. So, you had no idea? Of course not. No one did. I guess that's what it means to be undercover. But someone was after him. They had to know who he really was. Why did he pose as my manager? I do not understand. You have no idea? I can only assume that he was investigating me. But why? What makes you think that? Perhaps it's not so, but I cannot deny the possibility. But because of my condition. As my present is veiled in darkness, so too is my past clouded from memory. Clouded? Right. Truth be told, she was just like the utter thug of Borginia. Hashtag thug life. <laughs> she, was the with, thug. Like, the she knew how to like yeah, she she knew how to shoot. Oh, she was the, like crazy. On the subject of pistols, I'm really disappointed that when they're okay, so they're they're putting Harriet Tubman, I think, on the twenty dollar bill. Yeah, which that's I think what I, I heard. that's a great that's choice. Great choice. Mm -hmm. She's awesome. Um, I really wish because like I think a tentative designer, like an internet designer or something, it was like her holding a gun, like come with me, basically. <laughs> it was so cool, and no, they're just doing like a normal face. And I'm but that would make sense because you don't want somebody to like come to America and be like, "Well, to America, here's our twenty dollar bill." And then, like, I would, I think that they would see that and be like, "Wow, America definitely is the best country in the world." <laughs> no, I think they might be like, "Oh, even their money's threatening." <laughs> but we're all about guns. Well, no, we're not. <laughs> we're actually pretty split on guns, which we're is pretty split very on, strange. We're pretty because split the Constitution on guns. is extremely clear about this. Yeah, the darkness I fear is not the darkness that I see whenever I open my eyes. The real darkness lies in my heart. In your heart? I have no memory of the time before I came, Lame Wa. I awoke from darkness into darkness, you might say. I was singing in a restaurant those days. What was it that she said about not being able to remember the light? I do not know my past. Perhaps I committed some terrible crime in my past. Everything before becoming Lame was lost to me. But, but I don't think you... I can think of no other explanation. Why else would an agent of Interpol approach me? Do you think your past might be related to this case? No way! That seems really unlikely to me. I mean, you're such a sweet person, Lamewa. I thank you. Machi too tells me this often when I fear what I might have been. I know they say ignorance is bliss, but it, that could probably that really could, haunt you. Absolutely. Well, that's all the time we have for today, folks. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. More investigating the Coliseum, I suppose. Yeah. I'm trying to remember all that happens during this investigation. I have no idea, obviously. Yeah, I hope not. I have <laughs> Otherwise, no why are we doing this? <laughs> <laughs> anyhow, For fun! Anyhow, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.